Yeehaw! And I was... You might be thinking, Timmy, why are you dressed like a father of 10 who is also a football coach and has a wife that is his princess? That's because today I am eating at Texas Roadhouse for 24 hours. You guys know I like to blend in. I like to fit in with the crowd. So I am in a very convincing disguise. I don't think anyone's gonna notice, to be honest. They're just gonna be like, oh, that's an authentic alpha from Texas. Give this man a free appetizer. Also, I just noticed that you probably can't see the Texas Roadhouse sign because there's trees blocking it. I'm gonna be eating here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner now. You might be thinking, Timmy, they don't have breakfast at Texas Roadhouse. I know they don't. That's why I'm eating breakfast at 11 a.m. when they open, and I'm probably just gonna have appetizers. <laughs> also, I just realized that my hat might be a conversation starter, so I should think of some sort of a story for this, right? Her name is Terry. Yes, Timmy and Terry, I feel like we were meant to be. We got married in 1902 at the Grand Canyon. I can't, I'm sorry. Okay, we're just gonna wing it. Anyways, guys, before we go in, give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. It's the easiest way to support little old me and my dainty self. My brothers on motorcycles, hello. That was Johnny, Jimmy, and Jerry. All three of my brothers. Also, subscribe for more manly content. I eat, eat. as a man should. I make food content at restaurants, fast food places, hotels. It's a great time. Anyways, let's go in. Guys, I'm confused. Why is there a whole ostrich outside of Texas Roadhouse? Girly. <laughs> hey, queen. Let's go in. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Um, one, one, one. So I did get a water because it's breakfast. We're being dainty. I'm going to save my Diet Coke moment for later. The waitress is literally like the nicest person ever. So kind hearted. I love this already. She brought over some rolls and some butter that smells like cinnamon so it's like a cinnamon butter let's try it i am so hungry i have not had a, a crumb of food all day i've been up since like 7 a.m Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh that smells so yeasty but like in a good way you know the good kind of yeast the butter is extremely soft oh my goodness Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. I'm trying not to cause a scene, girlies. Ugh. I have chills from my toes to my bald egg head. Oh my god. This is the best <laughs> I've ever eaten in my life. I don't even know how to comprehend what just happened to me. That is the best roll I've had in my entire life, and I'm not exaggerating. The bread tastes so extremely fresh. The inside is so fluffy and stretchy at the same time. It's giving heavenly cloud. <laughs> the outside is like a little bit crispy. It's coated in like some butteriness. It's salty, and then the cinnamon butter is like also salty, but it has the teeniest, tiniest bit of sweetness and the teeniest, tiniest bit of cinnaminess, cinnamon, cinnamoniness. <laughs> that just makes it pop, it makes it unique, and it makes it taste so different than any other butter I've ever had. I'm giving the rolls and butter a 10 out of 10. What an amazing start to the day, girlies. Okay, so it is time to pick our breakfast. Now, like I said, I'm gonna have some appetizers. They have a lot of options like fried pickles, tater skins. I see here that there's a combo appetizer that comes with three appetizers, and you get to pick out a four of them. Boneless buffalo wings, fried pickles, rattlesnake bites, and tater skins. Ooh, what even are rattlesnake bites? It says diced jalapenos and jack cheese lightly fried and served with ranch or Cajun sauce. So it's just cheese and jalapenos fried? That sounds amazing. But who is jack cheese? I only know pepper or Monterey. Are you doing good, my friend? Yes. I'm the manager. Awesome. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, awesome. Enjoy. Have a great evening. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank the manager's so nice, too. I didn't see her go to anyone else's table. Was that just for me? <laughs> you guys, I know that I'm already married to a wonderful woman, but a lot of these ladies here have caught my eye. So I think I'm going to choose the boneless buffalo wings, the rattlesnake bites, and the fried pickles. I'm not feeling like a heavy tater right now. This is breakfast. I'm going to save all the super heavy foods for lunch and dinner, guys. Oh, breakfast might sound small, but guess what? Lunch, we're getting desserts, steaks, prime ribs, cows, elks, oaks, footballs, dirt. Yeah, sure. So is this TikTok, YouTube, or which one? YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. Okay. It's fine as long as you're just not filming all of our voice. Oh, of course, of course, of course. It's just on me. No, you're good. That's what I said. I was like, I'm not bothered by it because like, I'm more bothered by the let me film everybody. Oh my gosh, I hate that. But anyway, I was just scared. <laughs> it's totally fine. Thank you Thank so you. much. Guys, I got a visit from the manager. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, can I get the combo appetizer? Yeah, for sure. Which three things? Uh, buffalo wings, fried pickles, and rattlesnake bites. Gotcha. And you have the wings mild, huh? Hot. And then, um, can I get it with, with, um, ranch? I gotcha. Thank you so much. They're all so nice here, and I totally get it. Like, she is looking out for her employees, and I love that. So this is how my breakfast looked. What do we think? I replaced the eggs with their mother, chicken. She is looking stunning, radiant. And I replaced the hash browns with some fried queso. And I replaced bacon with the very similar fried picol. Breakfast is served. These boneless little pieces of pollo smell so good. I'm legit salivating. And let's first try it without ranch and then with ranch, okay? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Once again, I'm trying not to cause a scene. I'm shook. I'm shook. With ranch. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, it's incredible. Legend. Thank you. Huh. This bird. Wow, those are the best sit-down restaurant boneless wings I've ever had in my life. And I've taste tested a lot of wings, guys. The chicken inside doesn't have that foamy chicken nugget texture that boneless wings typically have. This is just a full chunk of chicken. Think like Chick-fil-A nuggets. Perfectly cooked, super juicy. This chicken said, I really love to stay hydrated. I love to drink water. I carry around a Stanley cup. Like this chicken really was quenched and it shows. The breading is so crispy yet so thin. So it's not rocky and gravelly like a lot of other boneless chicken wings, you know what I mean? And then the sauce is like a hot buffalo sauce, but it's like thin, if that makes sense. Like it isn't super like drippy and, and saucy, but it somehow works. It's the perfect amount of flavor, spice, tanginess, well, and then the ranch the ranch is drinkable. I know the doctors say like, drink your water, drink your water, but my heart says, drink your ranch. It's just that perfect sit down restaurant ranch. It's tangy, it's creamy, it's not too thick, not too thin. It has a classic ranch flavor, but it's even somehow a little tangier than your typical ranch. The chicken wings and the ranch are both a 10 out of 10. Wow. Next up, let's try the fried pickles. Okay, first without ranch. Oh, wow. A salty. Let's try it with the ranch, see if it calms it down. No, they're still very salty. Ooh. They're so salty, I don't think I can eat any more of them, to be honest. The pickle itself is juicy, very tangy. It tastes like a good pickle. And the breading is also quite fantastic. It's super crunchy, barely oily. It has a good, almost like a fried chicken flavor to it. And so that's good, but there's this aftertaste of iodized salt, sea salt, pink Himalayan salt, all the salts combined. It tastes like if the ocean dried up and just the salt was left. I don't mind salty food, but, but when something is so salty that I can't eat any more of it, that is an issue. So I'm gonna have to give the fried pickles a four out of 10, sadly. Now it's time for the rattlesnake bites. They're, they're very squishy. Wow. Oh, that's so interesting. Mmm, another. So good, thank you so much. Those are so unique. I have never had a fried cheese quite like that. Typically when it comes to fried cheese, we are used to, you know, fried mozzarella, fried cheese curds. This is like full on like pepper jack cheese with an extra spice to it from the jalapeno, fried in a very thin, almost hush puppy-ish kind of batter. And they are so delicious. The cheese isn't chewy, it just kind of melts in your mouth, which is such a different, experience and they do have a good amount of spice to them like you know you guys know i love spicy food i'm half cuban even though cuban food isn't spicy i'm half cuba i can handle that and typically jalapenos aren't spicy enough for me but these these have a good level i think it's such a fun different appetizer item um and there's no snake in it so that that's a win i'm gonna give those bites a nice strong nine out of ten so so far i'm very impressed mm. That is a burp straight from texas the chicken is my favorite appetizer for sure i'm gonna get a to-go box I'm gonna pay, I'm gonna bring this food home, and in a few hours, probably around like one to two, we're gonna go to a different Texas Roadhouse and have lunch, and it's gonna be a three course meal. It is lunchtime and we are at the second Texas Roadhouse location. This one looks even more Texas Roadhouse-y, right? 
And yes, I did ride my cow here. Peggy Sue is not that fast. It took a while. Okay guys, so I'm seated at another booth. They did ask me if I could sit um, at the bar because I'm like alone, but I can't film at the bar. So I had to say no, I felt so bad. I was like, oh, I'm sorry, can I have a booth? Uh -huh. And guess what, I got what I wanted. Anyways, I got a Diet Coke and I ordered a house salad. And the house salad comes with fresh greens, cheddar cheese, tomato, eggs, and croutons. Eggs on a house salad, that's different. That's that's more Cobby. Cobb called, he wants his egg back. Now for my entree, I kind of want something handheld. I'm talking like a burger or a pulled pork sandwich or something like that. But you guys always get mad at me when I order burgers. You always say, Timmy, get something other than a burger. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm not getting a burger. I am gonna get, I think a pulled pork sandwich or barbecue chicken. Ooh, I think pulled pork. I want the full Texas experience and that sounds kind of Texas-y, right? And I'm going to upgrade the fries to like a loaded fries. They have like cheese and bacon on them. Oh, but I also want to try some more sides. So I think I'm going to also get a side of mac and cheese. This may be Texas, but as a Giada De Laurentiis stan, I have to have pasta somewhere in the day. Oh, is that... <laughs> Also, what kind of desserts do they have? We need something sweet after lunch for sure. Oh, here. They have a Granny's Apple Classic, which is probably like a pie, I'm assuming. Strawberry cheesecake and <laughs> a big old brownie. It's actually called big old brownie. Like they say, everything's bigger in Texas. Besides your husband's tractor. This is a collaboration with my new best friend, Pile of Plates. Free plates, we love that. Time? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Why did I go like this? <laughs> I'm the only one here. It is like they were gonna give it to the other side of the table, girl. This is what it looks like. Now, I didn't even ask for extra ranch, but they gave me two containers. I'm not mad at that at all. I see the cheese, I see the huevos rancheros, and I see the croutons. Looks great. I'm just gonna <laughs> pour it all. Oh yeah, this is some thick ranch, guys. Wow. I'm gonna be so full of ranch by the end of the day, it's gonna be insane. You might as well call me creamy takeout. Oh, my croutons. Oh, oh my god. So good. Thank you so much. Not her seeing the giant blob of ranch in my beard, in my scruff. <laughs> oh god. Also, this second waitress is so kind and so nice too. So far, Texas Roadhouse has amazing service. Like, I'm shaking. Mm, this salad is incredible. The lettuce is fresh from the earth. You can feel the oxygen in the lettuce. You know what I mean? Like that fresh air. It's so crispy. The cherry tomatoes taste very fresh and very light. A lot of cherry tomatoes to me can taste like rotten. You know, like they can have just like a like a dumpster flavor. But these ones don't. They're, they're very light and juicy. The croutons are simple, but they're crispy. They're buttery. Love them. And the ranch, once again, is the main star. It's the lead singer. It's Nicole Scherzinger. Oh, and like the eggs mixed into the ranch makes the whole salad even creamier. It's just next level. It almost has the creaminess of like a potato salad, but it's a lettuce salad. It is so unique. It's so different. And it's just incredible. It's a 10 out of 10. Perfection. <coughs> the cream went down the wrong way. I already finished my first glass of Diet Coke. On to the second. I just realized no one's mentioning my hat. I just felt like someone would say, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> I need to investigate. But I guess everyone just believes it. This is believable. This is reality now. It's kind of fierce. Yes. Um, can I please get the pulled pork sandwich? And um, can I get it with, with um, loaded fries? And um, can I also add a side of mac and cheese? And um, for now, I think that's it. Perfect, I'll get you working. Thank you so much. Okay guys, the entree is here. And oh my goodness, it looks incredible. First of all, the side of fries is like on its own plate. It's a big amount, tons of cheese, tons of pig. And then the actual swine and bread looks amazing too. They put so much in there. It's insane. And the barbecue sauce is on the side. So I can just kind of like dip it in, I guess. There's an extra chunk of pig back there. And then the mac and cheese looks so saucy and creamy and drippy. I am not ready for this. Let's first try the loaded fries. Wow. It's just like a blob. I love it. Uh, what is happening? What is going on? <sighs> mm. 
Amazing. Thank you so much. I can hear the people of Idaho cheering right now saying, that's, that's our, potato. our potato. That's, that's our, potato. our potato. These potatoes truly taste like they came from the freshest dirt in Idaho. They're perfectly cooked, perfectly crispy, fluffy on the inside because they're like a steak fry, so it's nice and thick. They're salted, but they are simple, which is fine because the toppings really get to shine. The cheese tastes so flavorful like such high quality. They put such a big amount of it. I'm pretty sure it's cheddar, tastes like cheddar. And the bacon pieces are real bacon. You know how there's like bacon bits that just feel like little pieces of fish food, aerial food? And this is like actual, just freshly cooked crumbled up bacon. Oh my God. And then dipped into the ranch. It just took me into a different multiversal dimension into the next stratosphere of the supernova in the universe. Mind blowing. The loaded fries, once again, all right, 10 out of 10. Now it's time to try the mac and cheese. How does the mac and cheese sound? Can you hear it? Probably not. Let me add a fake sound effect. <laughs> Don't look at me. I got chills again. Whoa. <gasps> I keep sounding so dramatic, but I'm gonna say it again. This is one of the best sit down restaurant mac and cheeses I've ever had in my 29 years and 10 months on this planet. The noodles themselves are simple, but they're cooked perfectly. They're not soggy, they're al dente. The sauce is honestly shocking. It really tastes homemade, but it tastes like it was homemade with <laughs> homemade with super sharp cheeses, like a lot of white cheddar for sure. And a lot of butter, it's just very buttery, ultra creamy, just gooey in the best way possible. Not goopy, Gwyneth Paltrow didn't make this, gooey. The color of it is very pale. It is kind of giving best from little women, but it's totally fine because like white, white cheddar mac and cheeses typically are super pale. Perfect mac and cheese, 10 out of 10, so satisfying. Now it's time for the pulled pork sandwich. So as you can see, they put so much Fork. We have a whole pig pen in this bun. That's fierce. Okay, let's just dip it into this barbecue sauce. Oh, <laughs> Trisha. <laughs> oh my God. Ah. Oh, the pork's falling out. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. Oh, my fingers. Timmy, be a man. You're used to being covered in mud. Stop it. I'm gonna say it for like the 10th time today. That might be the best pulled pork sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> Texas Red House is really good, guys. Better than I remember. The bun is a fluffy classic bun. I have no issue with it. It's typical, it's basic. The pork itself is so tender. It almost melts in your mouth, like it's not chewy at all. But at the same time, it's very lean. And it's very hard to find tender pork that is also lean. Usually, those two things do not coexist, right? The pork is salty. It does have a simple pork flavor, but it just tastes like it's been slow cooked. There's a little bit of smokiness, but it's not like that fake smokiness. It's like authentic smokiness. And then the barbecue sauce is honestly so good. It, it just tastes very unique compared to other barbecue sauces that I've had. It's a little bit vinegary, but not too vinegary. And it's sweet, but not too sweet. It just, it tastes amazing. And with the pork, it's like, perfection. I'm giving the pulled pork sandwich a 10 out of 10 and I'm already getting full so I'm gonna have to get another box to take all this home. We haven't had dessert yet but so far this has legitimately been a perfect meal. Everything has gotten 10 out of 10. Has that ever happened on my channel? This is a moment. Maybe I should move to Texas. Like what is going on? Oh my god. Mm. I think that for dessert, I'm gonna get the granny's apple pie. That sounds really good right now. Nice apple crisp buttery flaking crisp crisp. <laughs> okay guys, so the waitress told me that they accidentally gave me two pieces. <laughs> Maybe it's because they know I have a wife. I don't know, but it's huge, guys. It looks amazing. Let's try this granny's apple pie. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. 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 Okay, so this apple pie is delicious. 
The crust is my favorite part. It's so buttery. The ice cream tastes like simple vanilla. It's like whatever. The filling is very good. It has a great flavor. It's a little bit tart, which like kind of balances out the sweetness, which I really like. But I have one issue. The texture of the filling is a little bit apple saucy. And I feel like apple pies shouldn't have an apple saucy texture. Maybe they do it like that in Texas. I don't know. But that's my only critique. It's like almost perfect. Sadly, it did break the perfect streak of the meal. So I'm going to have to give it an eight out of 10. Almost amazing. Okay. I am stuffed. I'm going to take my food home and I will see you guys in a few hours at the final Texas Roadhouse location. Okay, besties, it's dinner time. The sun is so bright. We are at the final Texas Roadhouse location. I think this is the back of the building or something. It looks like a barn. I am feeling quite bloated, a little greasy in my belly, but that's to be expected. Okay, so I am seated. I have a lot of things to tell you guys. So first of all, I didn't notice until now that a lot of the employees' shirts on the back of the shirt say, I heart my job. I had no clue that their shirts said that when I bought this hat and I feel even more awkward now and I feel like people are gonna think that I'm making fun of their shirts and I'm not, like I'm not making fun of their jobs or their shirts, nothing. It was just a weird coincidence. My waitress is like the sweetest person ever, like even sweeter than the other ones. Also one of the other waitresses passed, passed by my table and was like, I see you love your wife. <laughs> and I was, and I was like, <laughs> I couldn't even say anything. But my laugh probably gave me away, to be honest. Anyways, guys, now that you're all filled in, I got a bowl of chili. This is my starter. So it has cheese and onions. Let's see the texture. Ooh, this looks gorgeous. Before we try it, though, let me pick what I want for my entree because I don't want to make the waitress wait. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking of doing like a steak combo. So maybe a six ounce sirloin. I don't even know what sirloin is. It's part of the cow. Is that the back? Is that the gibbler? I don't know. So I'm gonna get that with grilled barbecue chicken. A nice meat fest to end the day. As for my sides, I think I'm gonna get mashed potatoes and I guess seasoned rice because all the rest of the sides are like vegetables. And I know that we're supposed to support the earth and the ground and that's where vegetables came from, but I just don't feel like eating them right now. Anyways, let's try the chili. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's so cheesy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, I have to say, a lot of sit-down restaurant chili can taste canned or just super processed. This genuinely tastes pretty fresh. It tastes like they made it here. Mm. This cheese, I can't do it. Stop it. <laughs> Get out of here. It has a lot of beans in it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh it's really fun. I'm going to be filming the whole time, so I'm a YouTuber, by the way. Oh, you're there? Oh. Yeah. Hi, hi, you two. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yes, um, I am gonna have the um, where is it combo with the um, sirloin and the barbecue chicken. Gotcha. And then how do you like that steak? Then? Um, medium. It's gonna be like a hopping set. Like this. Uh, um, if you want like a little bit more. Time. Medium well, I think medium actually. Ball, yeah. Thank you for showing me that. Um, mashed potatoes and um, seasoned rice. Gotcha. And that's it for now, I think. Thank you. you. Thank you so much. She's so sweet. I saw her trying to get like into frame. She was like, hi, but it wasn't showing her. And so that's the only reason why I turned the camera and I filmed her because she wanted to be filmed. That's so nice. Anyways, the chili has a lot of beans. It has a nice ground beef flavor, but like a clean ground beef. It also, of course, tastes like chili powder, but it also has like a Tabasco hot sauce flavor to it. That's really tangy and a little spicy and I really love that. It kind of makes it different. And the cheese is like extra stretchy. I swear it would not let go. It was serving Jack and Rose. Is the chili mind blowing good? No, I think that I make better chili. I am a chili expert, I gotta say, but it's still fantastic, especially for restaurant chili. So I'm gonna give it a nice strong eight out of 10. Very, very good. The food literally came out so fast. It looks so delicious. We got the barbecue chicken right there, slobbered in barbecue sauce. And then we have the sirloin and the mashed potatoes and arroz. That means rice if you're not half Cuban. Just so you know. Let's first try the seasoned rice, okay? It's cute. You know, it tastes like fried rice without the Asian flavors. And instead of the Asian flavors, it's like a chicken bouillon flavor. But for some reason, it has the depth and the oiliness that fried rice has. And that's very interesting to me. It's like a hibachi chicken pilaf. <laughs> I mean, that sounds awesome, but it really is. The girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. 
and the girl from Texas eat chicken pilaf fried rice. It definitely has a pretty strong flavor. I'm gonna give it seven out of 10. I feel like that's fair. Now let's try the sirloin. We have a nice little piece here. Focus, focus. Honestly, it looks perfectly cooked. There's a tiny bit of pink, but it's just a very light shade. It's like barely there flamingo. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This really is my steak arrow. Mmm. So good. Thank you. I love it. I really do. Look at this. So nice. Mmm. You guys know that I am new to the steak game, and I am still getting to know all the different steaky flavors and all the different cuts, but as far as I know, this steak is like perfection. It doesn't have any toppings or like any cheeses or like Parmesan sauces like the Outback one had, but it doesn't need it. It has such a simple steak flavor. It tastes clean. There's no fat, there's no cartilage. There's no pieces of nose or ears. It's not chewy at all. It tastes seasoned, salted, and the outside sort of has like a crust to it that's really crispy and really flavorful. It's absolute simple perfection. I'm very impressed. I am giving this morsel of meat a 10 out of 10. Truly delicious. Now it's time to try the mashed potato. You know, they're not bad, they're not gross or anything like that. And they definitely don't taste boxed. They do taste fresh, but have you ever made mashed potatoes at your house? And you didn't have that much butter, you only had milk and, and salt and pepper? This is very that. They taste like they were cooked for too long, so there's that mushy graininess that I do not look for when I'm eating mashed potatoes. It's almost like a hot cereal texture, you know? I also feel like, oh, it's fantastic. Thank you so much. I also feel like, there was too much milk put into them, so that also affected the texture and the flavor. They just taste kind of watered down. They just really taste like plain soggy mashed potatoes with salt and pepper, and that's it. That is probably the most disappointing thing that I've had today, only because mashed potatoes are kind of easy to slay, you know what I mean? But Texas Roadhouse is still that girl. She's still the queen of Texas, but I'm gonna have to give these mashed potatoes a four out of 10. Disappointing. Now it's time to try the barbecued chicken. There's the chicken on the inside. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Mm. Uh, Texas Roadhouse really knows how to slay the meat. This barbecue chicken is a down, down, down. And it's very easy to like dry out a nice clean chicken filet. You know what I mean? But it's perfectly cooked. Um, the chicken itself tastes seasoned underneath the barbecue sauce, which is really helpful because it's like layers of flavor. And then the barbecue sauce is, I'm pretty sure the same barbecue sauce that came with the pulled pork sandwich, which was amazing. And it goes so well with chicken. It really has that smokiness, that tang. This pollo sad, me and barbecue, we're sticking together. That's my sister. I'm giving this barbecue chicken a 10 out of 10. The day is almost over. We still have dessert. I think that I'm getting the brownie. I have to see how big the big old brownie is and I'm craving it more than cheesecake. I've had a lot of queso today. I don't need more, but I'm kind of shook. It's like Texas Roadhouse really got so many tens out of me. Have I ever given a restaurant this many tens? I don't know. The brownie has arrived. Look at this. It's like its own little cake. It's so cute. It has a big glob of ice cream on top. It looks amazing. Ooh, it's hot too, guys. The texture in the center is like so soft and the texture on the edges is like real crunchy. I, I'm ready. Look at that. <laughs> I'm trying not to scream. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, guys, that's so good. Let me pause. Timmy, pause. Stop it. Stop it. I. That startled me. It's someone's birthday. Love that. This is a, again, yes. Yeehaw. 
They say, hijo, this is everything you want in a brownie. The edges are crunchy and chewy. The middle is like ooey gooey, half cooked brownie batter deliciousness. Perfectly rich, it's not too rich. It's just sweet enough. It has a good amount of a chocolatey flavor, but it's not overpowering everything else. Somehow overall, it doesn't feel too heavy. Like I, I ate most of it in like a minute. <laughs> the ice cream like melted into the hot brownie. Just perfection, it's everything I expect. Uh, I'm giving that brownie a 10 out of 10. Overall, I had such an amazing day. I'm so impressed by Texas Roadhouse. I tried so many amazing things. All the service was incredible. Like I could not have had a better day. And we got to experience it together. I just wish wifey was here. I'm gonna go pay, but thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite thing to get at Texas Roadhouse? Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, I'll see you next time. I love you so much. Bye.